The next part of this question asks us to find the average velocity during the fall. Okay, so simply average velocity is simply initial velocity plus final velocity, which we don't have, divided by 2. Or all we need to do is take, according to this formula, displacement over time. That will give me my average velocity. So we simply have our formula. This is a very easy question actually. We simply have our formula that average velocity is my displacement over time. In the previous question I calculated how long this journey is going to take. My displacement I know is 55 meters. My change in time is 3,35 seconds and therefore my answer is 55 divided by 3.35 in other words 16.4 that 7 is going to make this a 2 16.42 16,42 meters per second let's input this that's our average velocity formula we know initial velocity is zero here, even though we're not using all of the values, enter them all anyways, if you know the value already, um, except the one we're trying to calculate in this step. Change in displacement is 55, delta t is 3.35, and acceleration is 9.8. So you see, we didn't use acceleration in this question, but still answer, put it in there anyways, just because you do know what the value is. Okay, my um, average velocity is equal to, and now this is my substitution step where I use this formula, 55 divided by 3.35. Oh, I made a mistake. 3.35. Preview. Okay, remember not to use units in this step, only in your final answer. Velocity is therefore equal to, and we worked it out, 16.42 meters per second. There you go. I'm happy.